My name is Vibeke and uh, the, ne the next five minutes I will talk about ADHD and autism. Please follow me on Facebook or YouTube. Um, please share this video. It's for free. Um, uh, today I will uh, talk about getting help, receiving help. Um, when, I, when my first kid was, uh, was a young kid, a uh, young boy, I was uh, talking a lot about how hard it was, how difficult it was. And sometimes people um, try to comfort me and say, I think you need help. Every time it, it, um, it uh, awoke a lot of feeling in me because I didn't need help. He needs help. I, I'm a good mother. I don't need help. I, and I'm married to a good daddy. He doesn't need help either. But the, our son needs help. Please help him. Kindergarten, school, please help him. He needs help. Uh, again and again, people came to me and said, mm, but I think you need help as a family, to be a family. No, we don't need help to be a family. Maybe you need help to um, to have a, a, an, an extra family who can take care of your son. No, no, because my family doesn't need help. Only my son. I don't know why I did it. I think I was um, frightened that somebody would um, proclaim me as a bad mother or something like that. So I received, I, I received, I actually denied help. Um, and I've done the same as a teacher. Uh, I can I can be crying out for help for this class because there is these kids in the class who just can't behave themselves. They have no chance. They are uh, having hyperactivity, or they are aggressive, or they uh, might not know how to learn, or they are immature, whatever. And I can um, and I can ask my colleagues for help to the kids, and they say, "Oh, I think I think I have a pa a couple of ideas for you." No, nope, not for me, for them. Help them. Take them out of my classroom, help them somewhere. But but I'm a good teacher, I don't need help. In the beginning I was like this. And um, now I'm actually the opposite. Now I'm the one who's uh, running around and saying, please receive the help. The first time uh, the somebody came to our home with this mission to help us, I was like this. You can just say nothing to me, but then she, she asked me, "When did you when did you only think about you for the last half hour?" And you can say, "Me? I'm I'm thinking about me all the time." Okay, what did you do for you? What? I I didn't understand what she was saying. It was like I was ready to throw her out because this was too weird. Then she asked me to tell what I was doing when I woke up in the morning, and I was telling her about it. And then she was uh, asking me what I would do when I came from work and my kids uh, came home from kindergarten, and I told her that. Um, and I was wondering what she was going to do. She said, "Then suddenly she said, do you know? Do you know that everything you do is for your son or your husband?" And I realized that that I have put all myself to a shelf somewhere, not looking at it, because there wasn't time. There wasn't any uh, uh, resources to, to take care of me. And she said that I had to be laying on the couch for 10 minutes each day and telling my son and my husband that I was not allowed to be disturbed. I was sure it wouldn't. It would never go. It would never work out. There would be conflicts, or he would be crying, my son, and uh, um, he would uh, do some mess. Uh, it, it would never be good. But I tried, and he was so sweet. He was gently touching my cheek and my hair, and he said, "I'm not fine." He was just looking at the watch we had on, a watch like a hot one, um, and. Uh, just looking at the watch in 10 minutes. Maybe there was a little car driving on my arm. It didn't disturb me. And when the 10 minutes was over, he was so happy. And actually, I was too. And slowly, I learned to put my, to give myself some priority time to. And um, it, it gave me um, a smile back. And uh, actually, it helped him. I've done the same as a teacher. 
as I told you before, and people came to me and say, you need help to cope with that. And I was expecting them to say, I, oh, of course you can't handle that. I will, I will take him from you. You should not have this guy in your classroom anymore. That is too wild. But, and, and in the beginning I was angry when they told me, you could probably help me better than you do now. And I was like this, no, I'm doing this and this and this, and it takes so much time. But I started, um, I, I tried, I gave it a, ch a chance, and I started to, to do this thing, these things as they were uh, suggested to me. And actually, it showed up that before I used this much time to losing conflicts, now I use this time to, pre to um, prevent them, but they didn't come, they didn't came. So actually, I saved time. There was much more time left to, to just be a teacher when I did put this extra work in it about uh, some structure and some um, uh, tools to um, help him when he had conflicts and I thought it would take me far too much time but it didn't it gave me time so I just want to tell you that getting help might be the only solution and it might not only be the kids who need help it might be the moms and dads and the teachers too so receive it